Welcome back to our series on minimalism. The benefits of minimalism have been astonishing, and it's been an inspiring journey towards embracing the idea of knowing enough for happiness. Habits have the power to significantly alter the course of our lives. I am leveraging this by utilizing the strength of repetition to shape my minimalist lifestyle. In a previous video, I touched on how I have been exploring various lifestyle philosophies. Upon discovering minimalism, I realized its core values deeply resonate with mine. This realization made me confident that it could assist me in achieving my primary aim of living a life that's both simpler and more purposeful. The aspect of this philosophy I find most appealing is its practicality. In recent months, I have been actively working on cultivating new minimalist habits, eager to see the benefits they might bring. While it's an ongoing journey, I've already noticed a sense of calmness and reduced stress in my daily life. This shift has opened up mental and physical space, allowing me to concentrate on what matters most to me. Cleaning my space brings a sense of order and structure, which is crucial since I work from home and need a tidy environment for focus. I've realized that I tend to be quite messy, often moving from the dining room to the kitchen in search of the right workspace, leaving clutter in my wake. The quick accumulation of dishes used to overwhelm me, making me feel like I couldn't manage the mess. Unlike those who find comfort in a disordered house, chaos frustrates me, especially when I can't locate necessary items or something runs out. To address this, I decided to implement a system to simplify cleaning, opting for the clean-as-you-go method. By continuously tidying up and putting things back in their place after use, I found it easier to handle tasks bit by bit. This method of handling chores reduces the likelihood of procrastination and the overwhelming feeling that can arise when tasks accumulate. It also liberates my leisure time, allowing me to concentrate on other vital aspects of my life. This system aids in efficiently managing household items, making it easier to identify when something needs replenishing or is no longer needed. Since adopting this approach, my house has remained consistently tidy, with minimal effort required. Recognizing that chores are an inevitable part of daily life, simplifying them is essential to freeing up time and reducing overwhelm. A major factor in my decision to embrace minimalism was my desire not to contribute to a culture of disposability. Learning more about minimalism and sustainable living has guided me towards a lifestyle that minimizes waste and environmental impact. An effortless and sustainable practice is simply taking good care of our belongings. I've cultivated habits like promptly placing my camera in its case after use and hand-washing delicate fabrics. These small actions cumulatively make a significant difference, leading to less waste and reduced consumption. This approach isn't limited to high-value items, but extends to everyday household objects as well. Ensuring proper food storage, securing lids, and maintaining my car are all part of this mindful approach. Everything we own requires some level of maintenance. While it may take extra time from my day, the benefits greatly outweigh this investment. These items are integral to my daily life, and I'm dedicated to maintaining them for as long as possible. The adage holds true. If we take good care of our belongings, they, in turn, will take good care of us. If you're someone who often puts others' needs ahead of your own, like I do, you'll understand how challenging it can be. Drawing the line when asked for favors or when someone wants to occupy my weekend is tough. Feeling out of control over my own time is uncomfortable, and that's exactly how I found myself feeling. I was constantly put in situations I felt obliged to accept, which wasn't fair to myself or others involved. Realizing this, I knew I had to declutter my life from these unnecessary commitments and learn to set boundaries. It involved mastering the art of saying no respectfully and doing it more frequently. Now, before agreeing to anything, I evaluate whether it's worth my time. 
this extra step has been crucial in prioritizing my life and understanding the value of my time. Now, when I do someone a favor, it's because I genuinely want to, not out of obligation. Interactions and plans with others no longer feel burdensome. And when I agree to something, it's with full commitment. I acknowledge that this is easier said than done, especially when put on the spot. However, tackling one situation at a time is a gradual process towards achieving this balance. When it comes to purchasing, I prioritize quality over quantity. It may require more time for research and finding the best value, but the effort pays off in making informed choices and avoiding impulsive purchases. Generally, quality items last longer, are made of better materials, and have superior craftsmanship. They are often not mass-produced. This approach has enabled me to use items for a longer duration. It's a misconception that quality always means expensive. Regardless of financial status, we can find the best value for our money. Applying this quality-seeking approach to all aspects of my life has been transformative. It has allowed me to dedicate time to loved ones, seek valuable experiences, and consume food that nourishes both body and soul. Seeking quality enriches our lives, intensifies every experience, and improves overall life quality. This mindset has helped me identify what and who is truly important in my life, guiding me to focus my energies appropriately. Previously, my life revolved around to-do lists, covering everything from work to home activities. I believed that adhering to these lists was the only way to accomplish everything. However, the issue with these lists is their never-ending nature, creating a sense of chasing an impossible goal. The overwhelming feeling from to-do lists often arises because we think we need to do everything on them. With numerous responsibilities, the list can consume our entire day, with each item vying for our attention. This constant battle for focus can hinder us from achieving mental clarity. If this resonates with you, it might be beneficial to take a moment to pause and scrutinize your list, questioning what truly deserves priority. My approach involves creating a draft of my to-do list and then identifying the top five tasks that are most crucial. Completing these tasks brings a sense of achievement, as I know the most important things have been handled. The focus should be on tasks that genuinely advance your life, not just on minor activities that are satisfying to check off, but don't contribute significantly to your progress. When it comes to forming habits, I believe it's important to ensure they are sustainable in the long run. These habits should serve as the foundation for the lifestyle you're striving to create. Remember, these are just suggestions and practices that have worked for me. I encourage you to experiment with them, see how they align with your life, and adapt them to fit your unique lifestyle. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. If you've developed a good sense of maturity in your life through different experiences, then let's have a discussion in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like thumbs up button. And if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe. And as always, follow your heart, my friend, and take action and go live the life you're born to live. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video soon. Take care.